Oh my goodness. My, good morning, everybody. What a morning. My sister wants me to help her write a song. I'm like half asleep. Okay, sis, you know. <laughs> God bless her heart. I love her so much. I'll get to work on it. We'll, we'll figure it out. I've got other song that I'm finishing up, I'm working on right now. Um, I want to thank everybody for clicking on to Pandora Radio, clicking on to Take Me Back to Tennessee, which is now on Pandora Radio. Yay, we made it. You know, getting maybe it's going to get a penny here and a penny there, or two pennies there, you know. That's how it works. And uh, I will be trying to upgrade with CD Baby so they can collect all these royalties that are scattered all over the damn place, because you're not going to see them. Uh, I haven't seen any in a couple of years from CD Baby on uh, Take Me Back to Tennessee, so I had to go to uh, load up on Spotify or go to a different project where they help you collect and you pay them a few bucks a month and they help you. Uh, so it's got to be upgraded. It's got to get upgraded. We've got to get them working for us, collecting for us. And uh, I'll be in contact with some people today about recording again and their prices and things like that. So basically, I'll be just like a recording artist, trying to get things going from home for right now. Uh, no gigs planned. I'm just going to stay put and work on with what I've got. So I won't be appearing in any gigs uh, for a while. Now, getting on to this, uh, to Trump and everything, my goodness, I had a tear for the guy, yeah. He did a lot of good for this country. He built up our military made them strong he made the border so that people can come in here the right way and not come in uh, to kill us a long time ago it was our, our grandparents and their parents that came over here for freedom uh, they came over here because they wanted a better life and I can understand that for Hondurans and for Spanish people and, and all of that because I've been married to a Latino family for many years over 30 years so I understand but now times are different. Now they're coming over here to set off bombs and kill us. So we've got to build a wall. What did Biden do? The first thing he did was tear it down. What did he do in his inauguration? Right away put down Trump and how bad he was. Now, 4,000 troops in Washington, D.C. or more. That tells me that they're afraid of something. Trump did not uh, start this violence. The people got a little carried away. They went there to protest. And uh, with the help of these groups, these organizations that led these people down the wrong path and they caused destruction. Antifa. You remember when Biden said, I support Antifa? Huh? Remember that? He said that he supported them. So you can't blame this all on Trump. You notice how nothing happened? How nothing, was, I told you folks, nothing was gonna happen because Pelosi and all of them, they set him up. They built up enough crap on every single news station to hurt him, to say bad things about him. Oh, he caused something that was as bad as World War II. It was bad as getting bombed by, by the Japanese. They blew it so far out of proportion. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, a terrorist attack. I terrorist. Who knows when they're coming back? They really blew it up. Every single station blew it up. And they're still blowing it up. But you know what? The funny thing about the truth is it always seems to seep through the cracks. And it comes out. It'll come out about what Trump really is about. And it'll come out with what Biden's really about. Okay, and Pamela Harris is all about. I'm glad she's a, uh, the first black lady president. I appreciate that. I think that's fantastic uh, that, that she is. But she's a little too excited. That, oh, my God. You know, I, I made Oh, my God. I guess she's, she's uh, jumping with joy right now. And that's good. Yeah, that's good, I guess. 
Uh, let's hope she does a good job, and uh, let's hope Biden does a good job. Because for now, as much as I disagree with him being there, God does tell us to support our leaders, support our president, and to, uh, with a prayer, you know, stand by them and pray that they do the right thing. And I pray that Biden does the right thing. But Trump, it's not over. It's not over. There are 70, what was it, 70,000 or 70 million people, or supporters out there. You can't just throw that away, Biden, and call all of them terrorists because you're slapping all them in the face also. You, you know, you're slapping all them in the face. These people voted for Trump because they believed in the things he was going to do. And he did take care of a lot of it. A lot of things he did. A lot of good things he did. Even though he's got his problems that, 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 that we all shared in. His daily routines and what he was all about. And, and he opened up his heart and his life to us. His ups, his downs, his failures. Biden's just going to hide in the closet somewhere and you're never going to know what he's going to do. You're never going to know what he's going to do. You know, signing 17 executive orders was any of those orders to send people any money to help them out. Where's the 1,400, the remaining of the, of, the, of the six? Didn't mention it in anything that he signed. Nothing. And I don't think it's going to happen. I could use it because I'm going to finish up... Uh, my music. I'm going to record some songs. I've been in touch with some people. I'm going to get that finished up, and I'm going to get more songs on internet radio, and 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 upgrade things to where they can collect royalties and just try to get that first first check and post it on the wall. Hey, you know, I did something. Hey, I'm, you know, it's worth something. Instead of getting put down by certain people, sometimes even your own family will tell you you're not worth anything. Well, you'll never become anything. People in your life, don't let it get you down. Keep trying. Keep going. And uh, no matter what, you're going to get there because all we can do is go up in life. It's all we can do. Uh, I pray for the people that are out there uh, that have lost things. Uh, there's a guy out there who lost his uh, had his guitar stolen. I saw something like that online. I pray for him. And if you if you're out there and whoever you are and you've done such a thing, uh, uh, please return it. Um, that's a hard thing to do to a musician. It's the worst thing you can do to a musician is is uh, to take something that belongs to him. So return it, whoever you are, whoever you are. Return it. Find a friend. Drop it off. Return it. Uh, that's all I'll say on that issue. And uh, good things are happening. There's a lot of good friends of mine out there that are doing good things with their music. Uh, we'll all be back. Maybe doing little jam sessions here and there. Who knows? Uh, I'm hoping to have enough to fix my car so I can get to to uh, over to where some friends are at and jam with them and, and work with them in New Braunfels and, uh, you know, circulate around there a little bit. And uh, I've got a transmission that's screwed up on one of my cars. And the other one, it needs, needs a little bit of work also. So it's too bad there isn't stimulus checks to help people rebuild the uh, transmissions. <laughs> You know, here, here's a little fun to help you get a new transmission in your car. <laughs> anyway, good morning to everybody out there, and uh, God bless you all. And I hope everybody has a blessed day. And uh, I'm glad everybody was able to coffee up with Mark Batoni. I'm drinking Instant Nest Cafe. Uh, I like it because it's stronger. I do have regular coffee, which I, my wife made. Uh, everything is going great for the Batoni family. We're all healthy. 
and we all have our health to to thank God for our health. We're trying to keep as quarantined as we can, wearing masks. Like I'm out here on my balcony, and uh, they're not going to make me wear a mask and come after me because I need to breathe the fresh air. You know, and and when I see people walking down the street, oh my God. They're wearing a mask. Well, don't you know that that crap that you're breathing inside your body after you inhale is getting circulated back in your body over again? You breathe out dirty air. You breathe in clean air when you don't have your mask and you breathe out the dirty air that's in your lungs. Put a mask on, you're breathing in crap that's in the mask and the bad air that you have blown out. So it's kind of like just getting right back in your body again. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's probably why most of you are getting sick. Because you're breathing in that mask. You know? And and who knows? Maybe there's a connection between the two. I, you know? I really feel bad for the people that are dying out there. I mean, what I don't understand is why are they giving the shots to the people that are lying in those beds and they're, they're dying? and they're, they're, Or they're sick. Why not give them the shots right then and there? Why do they have to wait? What took the, sh you know, why not give it to them now while they're in the hospital? But I hear that it's going down. I hear that it's not as bad as it was and it's getting better. But the media blows it up. They make it look like it's getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we are living in the last days. That's what I, that's what I need to tell you. We're living in the last days. When you see all this crap that's going on, we're living in the last days. We're at the man of clay that Daniel the prophet talks about. And if those of you who could just pick up a Bible, any Bible you want, and read the book of Daniel, and learn about the dreams that he had, and how he helped the king with some of the dreams that he had, King Ebenezer, and was promoted in the ranks because of the dreams he was able to describe because his own people couldn't do it. His own magi magicians, not magicians, how do you say magic magicians? Or, couldn't do it. But Daniel was able to prophesy for the king and he was able to store up that rice of grain for those seasons that the rain was going to come. And he promoted him. And Daniel also had dreams of our future and what's going on right now. And... The, in the book of Daniel, there's a man of clay that's described. Daniel describes these kingdoms that have come and gone. He describes the Persian Empire, Roman Empire, the Greek, you know, different empires. And down at the end of this man of clay are the cracks of the feet of this man of clay. The cracks of the feet, and it says, a nation that is divided. The very bottom of the cracks of the feet. They mean things that are not going right. And then after that, we're going to see Jesus Christ. So if you don't know God in your heart, you don't know Jesus. You don't, I should say, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, uh, actually it's a relationship with the Holy Spirit because Christ left that Holy Spirit here for us to connect with, the Comforter. So that's what he really wants us to connect with is the Holy Spirit. Uh, when you pray, uh, uh, you're praying for the Holy Spirit and, 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 and a relationship with Jesus and, and you're showing your love and, and the Holy Spirit hits you and you're feeling holy, you're, you're connecting with that. So if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, start today, read the Bible, pray each night for Him to come into your heart. You know, you can do that alone, by yourself, at home. He will hear you uh, and start with that and you'll be on the road to to being a good Christian but it takes a lot of work it takes prayer prayer for other people which I try to do all the time pray for other people's illnesses ask God to send a million angels to protect your front door and a million angels to protect your back door from this virus which is what I try to do every day and uh, accept them into your heart because we're at the end times. And uh, if there is a rapture of the church, it doesn't describe exactly in detail how that's going to happen.
but we can't rule it out either because it does describe in the Bible how one will be in the field and the, uh, and the other one will be taken and how the other one will be doing something else and the other one will be taken. So it does give us a hint. You don't want to be left behind when that happens. How it happens? I don't know. We don't know how God's power is, but it's powerful. It's as powerful as the, the men that were in the upper room in Jesus' time when the candles were above their heads. And, and, and you know, what a, what a time it was for those folks. And all those the prophets that went out and did miracles themselves. Uh, Peter went out and did miracles. He went out and healed people. He still had that connection uh, that Jesus had, and he did healing. He had God's power. He had the Holy Spirit, which I believe started a lot of good things. The Catholic Church is one of them. It started some good things. They may be a disappointment to some people today, but Peter kind of got it started back in the old days. Just, just a bunch of guys out there spreading the good word of God's kingdom coming to this earth. And that's it. You don't have to belong to a religion or start a religion to understand that. It's just simple. That's what's going on. So we need a relationship with Christ. We need it now. You need it now. So whatever you've done wrong, ask God's forgiveness. Ask Him to forgive you and get down on your knees. Forgive me, Lord, for all the things I've done in my life. Guide my life. Come into my heart. Be my personal Savior. I believe you died on the cross and that you rose from the dead. You can even say the Lord's Prayer, which is in the Bible. Okay? O Lord, heart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. You know what it means when he says, hallowed be thy name? Jesus is saying this prayer. He's raising God's name up high. Hallowed be thy name. He's raising his Father's name up there higher than himself. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those who trespass and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And I always say, for thy is the kingdom and glory forever and ever. Amen. And some just leave it at that. And there are other prayers that you can pray. Try to stay holy. Try to walk by, by faith and not by what you see out in the world. Okay? People walk by what they see and what they hear and, and get offended by this and that. When you look at a person, try to look at what's inside them. The spirit that's locked in this body. When you're out on the street or when you have problems, try to look at what's inside that person. The spirit. Because that's why we have to walk. Walk by spiritual things seek out spiritual things and not what you see not what you saw down the street happen or what at this look for signs of spiritual things they're out there anyway i don't want to take up much of anybody's time uh good morning to everybody that's out there good morning my good friends Uh, but pray for your for your president to do well, even though we all disagree and shared a tear from what Trump left, because I know I did, and I'm not a Trump supporter. I'll tell you folks right now, I don't vote, and I never have voted. I tried to vote down the street uh, a couple years back, and I had to, you have to register in order to vote. But I believe that my king is Jesus Christ, and that's the king that I'm waiting for. And I vote for Jesus because he's the one who's going to rule over this world. So forgive me if I'm not so anxious to go out and vote for this person and vote for that person because my king is higher than all of that. He's what your mind can't even comprehend. He's bigger than what you can comprehend. Ah, I love Jesus. God bless you all. Have a great day. Amen.